724, 37 degrees, and runners listen up because registration is open now for the Hilton Head Marathon, Half Marathon, and the 5K2. The race is next Saturday on February 7th, but space is pretty limited. So joining me this morning to tell us all about the races and frankly about all the fun too, I've got coordinator Mark Wisner. Mark. I'm so Morning. glad you're here. Did I pronounce your last name correct? No, but that's okay. It's I'm Wisner. Wisner. Uh, I, 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 the intention was to ask you. It just didn't happen. That's right. You're busy this morning. <laughs> Snowstorms and all kinds of stuff, right? That's what it is. That's what it yeah. is. So tell us what's going on. All right. So it'll be the second annual Hilton Head Marathon um, and about the 14th half marathon and 5K. So last year we added the marathon. Uh, we had a lot of success with that. And then this year we kind of tweaked the marathon course mm -hmm. a little bit to make it a little more scenic. We're running through Spanish Wells and Honey Horn. Nice. And I think people really like the changes. Yeah, give it a, just kind of look at everything that you have there. Get to enjoy it, not just stick to the roads. Good stuff. That's right. I love it. Okay, but here's the deal. This is actually a Boston qualifier. It is. It's a it big is. deal. Well, it's a certified course, and if you can run fast enough and you get under the times that they require in Boston, then you can use that as your time for Boston. So that's a cool thing. I love it. It's pretty important to have those locally where you don't have to go all the way to Texas. or. Yeah, and actually today we're going to be out on the course making all the little changes and making sure we recertify it and all the distances are correct and stuff. So that, that'll be fun. I wanted like it to be a little warmer today, but I guess it's better <laughs> than the Northeast, right? It's much better than the Northeast. Yeah. So, okay, we've got a marathon. We've got a half marathon, we got a 5K, and we've got all kinds of fun afterwards. What's going on? We've got two live bands, um, the o Johnny O Band mm -hmm. and Ty Miller, and we have a craft beer garden because I kind of like beer, so I figured <laughs> if we're going to have a marathon, there's going to be adults out there, we might as well have good beer for them. Did I read 20 vendors? Uh, well, 20 different beers. Different beers. Probably okay. about a dozen vendors, a lot awesome. of local restaurants and stuff, so it'll be a lot of fun. It's going to be a great time. Yeah, and they can still register. Mm -hmm. And registration, frankly, um, I've got a link that I'm going to put on our website at wjcl.com. Um, what are we talking? Like 95 bucks for the um, the marathon itself, but it's a little less for the others. Yes, it kind of goes down based on the distance of the okay. race. Okay. So, what do our runners need to know just right now? Two weeks out. Two weeks out is um, if you haven't registered, you can register. Um, if you want to wait till last minute and check out the web, we have um, race. The night before, we have packet pickup and late registration at the Weston, which okay. would be like a little expo kind of thing. And okay, so you can register right up until the day before. You can actually register the day of. We'll take day them up too. if they're brave enough to show up <laughs> at uh, you know seven o'clock in the morning and register. Say, I want to run. We'll let them run. <laughs> I love it. All right, so you are taking a look at the details right there. It is Saturday, February seventh. The race starts at seven a or eight a.m. But if you need to register, you best be there by seven o'clock to pick up your packets and all of that. Again, this is a Boston Marathon qualifier. But it's not just the marathon. There's a half marathon, a 5K2. If you are registering for the marathon, though, 95 bucks and all kinds of fun afterwards. So no reason not to come out and enjoy it. That's right. That's right. And if you even just want to come and watch and cheer for the people, there'll be places along the race course where people can cheer. And you know, people, runners like to be embraced by yeah. the local community. The so that's there, a very important thing for the people to come run. out. Yeah, for sure. Mark, appreciate you, sir. Thanks for having me. My pleasure, completely. Okay.